We're part of a body of humanity. We have the ability to speak for that body of humanity because we're a part of it, whatever our immediate experience is. We can speak for the people in Gaza. We can speak for the people in Ukraine. We can speak for the homeless here in America. We can speak for anyone of any station who is feeling that vacancy. And we can seek for them. We can open on their behalf because we're part of this body that we're all part of, one body. And we're all feeling what the rest of this body of humanity is feeling, what this soul family is feeling. So we can speak on behalf of our soul family. We are in need. We are in need. We are seeking. And we can also speak into the soul family. We can seek, speak for what comes from the Father, what comes from the Supreme Soul, and speak that love into the heart of humanity. Speak that love into the heart of any human being. And then what happens to this big vacancy? I think as Christmas was coming, I was saying how something like 35% of the American population was dreading having Christmas come. <laughs> Because it's a time of year where um, people expect and look to share oneness, to share love with other people, to share warmth, intimacy. And if that's not happening for a person, it's like you're, you're holding up the possibility in front of them. Here's the Christmas tree, you know, but you can't have it. Like you can't have that gift that Christmas is supposed to be. But what happens when the supreme soul pours love into a human being? My best symbol of that is the sun. It's like where there used to be this vacant place, there is now a burning sun. Before it happened, you don't know what you're looking for. <clears throat> you just know... Something's missing, right? There's a void where something should be. But when it comes in, there it is. It's this ball of fire and warmth and love and fullness. And then you have that to share. 